Okay, let's get back into it. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from? Would you turn your back on the wolves, on this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Mm. 
Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! Liking it less now.
that wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. I like the egros. Report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. <laughs>
Do all the plants here want to kill us? No. Uh -oh. Only the canaptious ones. That wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for her pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. <laughs> Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Oh, hi! Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, right. well, that's impressive. Then you knew Faye. She... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, Sliver Pants. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bela? Well, they were both in prison by one side or another. Or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. Well, from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Travelers for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. Hot Blades coming up! What's the Witch of the Woods need? The Aesir will be running scared. Big man?
Okay, I'm going to end this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.